Hi, my name is Ben Heckler. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and head neck surgeon here at Duke University Hospitals in Durham, North Carolina. I'd like to show you today how I use the telescope to perform an oral screening examination. This is used when we're looking for abnormalities in the oral cavity that may be important and may need to be followed up on. First, I'm going to show you how I perform my oral examination using the telescope. After connecting our lighted tongue blade, we then can perform our examination. We'll have the patient open. We'll start on the right buccal mucosa. We're going to look for some soft pink mucosa without any lumps or bumps. We'll continue this forward into the mandibular vestibule. Again, should not be seeing any areas of drainage, any red or white lesions. And we do the same on the other buccal mucosa. I'll then have the patient bite. And this allows us to do the same up towards the top of the maxillary vestibule. Again, looking for no white or red lesions or any ulcerations. The patient then opens and says, ah, ah, and we're allowed to see the back of the throat. Again, we should be seeing nice pink mucosa as we do here. Go ahead and stick your tongue to the left. This allows us to then retract the tongue, relax your tongue. Again, seeing the undersurface of the tongue, nice and soft, no concern for any lumps, bumps, or drainage. The patient will then push his or her tongue to the opposite side. Again, we look for lumps or bumps. And then lastly, the patient will elevate their tongue and we'll look at the floor of the mouth. We should see a nice frenulum here, small areas where veins or ducts are located, but no significant swelling. We're then able to use the application to highlight an area of interest here in this case, in the back of the oral cavity. And if we'd like to take a photograph, we can easily do that here and save another photograph of the back of the soft palate this allows us then to not only capture photographs, but we can also highlight areas of concern on the photographs for later comparison. There's also video that can be taken, and what's really nice with the pro version is that that video can be 30 seconds, and we can take still shots while videoing the patient. So you can perform an entire examination, but still highlighting specific areas of concern. I was able to document photographs and even videos during that visit that I can then catalog and use later for documentation purposes, annotation of specific findings, and communication with outside physicians or dentists. Now I'd like to show you how I document my time and effort for that to get adequately reimbursed for the additional effort that's put in for these patients. So here's an example of my typical note. I do document all of the time that's performed. So we spent a few minutes before the patient arrived preparing for the visit and writing notes. I then spent a full 30 minutes with this individual patient. I document what was done and a portion of that include an oral screening with the telescope system. We then spent additional time after the visit, annotating, documenting, note writing, and communicating with the patient's physician and or dentist, and we document that time as well. And I even usually take this a step further and document that I specifically performed a telescope examination and who I communicated with. This is very nice when we come to coding and reimbursement because as of January 2021, we're now allowed to document, code for, and get reimbursed for our entire time for the patient, not just face-to-face -face time, anything we did for the patient that day before or after the visit. So before, if I had seen a new patient and documented 30 minutes of time with the patient, and only been able to code for a level three. Now, if I spend additional time during the visit and after the visit for documentation, annotation, and communication, I can easily bump this up to a level four code, for example, if additional time was spent for this patient, even after the visit. In the same way, if a patient came for a routine follow-up visit that was only gonna take 15 minutes, but we performed an oral examination with the telescope, again, all the time during the visit and after the visit for communication and documentation, I can easily again increase my coding reimbursement by getting reimbursement for the time that we spent. So now you've seen how I use the telescope to both perform an oral examination, to document that during the patient visit, and how we can use that time and effort to get adequate reimbursement after the patient has left.